hey, use code Bengal at sign up on FanDuel. You get a free $20 to play with. Also, check out my links down in the description for Twitter, Twitch, second and third channels for all different types of content that you might enjoy. So be sure to check it out and let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today we are doing a prospect breakdown sort of thing and that is on Delaware Safety Nasir Adderley. I'm going to talk about him a little bit briefly and then we're going to cut over to the seventh round bust podcast here on YouTube, soon to be on iTunes, Spotify, and all your favorite podcast website soundcloud included so make sure to check out that on the channel with wheels and he is the other person you're going to see uh he is not white but kind of i'm the other one if you weren't uh familiar but nasir adderley is a really really intriguing player you're going to hear us talk a lot about him in the video he is a six foot maybe a 511 200 pound safety out of delaware so it is an fcs school so it's a pretty interesting player to start things off with for this series so if you guys don't have the the patience or the time to sit through a podcast although there are timestamps in the description or comments wherever they might be um i think this is going to be a really really great series for you guys to kind of figure out my take and, and wheels opinion on these players so nasir adderley in my opinion is uh, a fantastic player and certainly someone that's going to rise up boards he has undoubtedly the best ball skills in the draft of any defensive player. Uh, he's right up there with some of the top wide receivers, if I'm being honest. Some of these wideouts, I mean, they can go up and get the football, but you'll see a little bit in this video. Nasir Adderley can go up and get the football, climb the ladder, make some of these spectacular catches like he's Odell Beckham Jr. You know, like he's, he's a crazy interesting player. He has near elite range. I think it's fantastic. He has excellent closing speed as well and he excels in zone coverage. I'm not going to talk about him too much from an analytical perspective right now. That's going to be in a minute or so when you guys see um, kind of wheels in my breakdown of him as a player. But what I will say now is my draft projection on him is going to be probably late first at the earliest, maybe mid to late first at the earliest. I think he can go all the way to the third round. I never expected a player like Justin Reed out of Stanford, the safety to be available in the third round, and yet the Texans snagged him um, at the top of the third. And I just, I never really saw that as a possibility. However, that happened, and I think Nasir Adderley, in terms of overall ability, is probably a similarly ranked player on what will eventually be my big board, which will be top 50 or top 100 players, depending on how uh, frisky, how much uh, time I really invest into that. But really, really intriguing player. Uh, I'm quite a fan, and I think his draft talent is absolutely first round. His NFL comparison is weird. I liked Malik Cooker at first, but I really think he's comparable to a guy like Earl Thomas. I'm not sure he is the same exact athlete that Earl Thomas was. He does have an inch or two on him, um, but I think he has the same elite range that Earl Thomas showcased at Texas and even does in the NFL. He's a guy that plays great as a single high safety over the top with excellent zone coverage and playmaking ability. That's what Nasir Adderley is to me. Screams that he can go up, play in the box, just go all over the field making plays. Really has a great nose for the football. And I think he's probably a better tackler and he fits more of a box profile than Earl Thomas does. So he's an interesting player for sure. And with NFL comparisons, they're always weird because they're never going to be exact for the most part. But I really do like an Earl Thomas comparison. I know that's super high praise. I also think Malik Hooker's a player that he reminds me of a little bit. And I also have three good fits for Nasir Adderley as the Green Bay Packers who are in need of a safety, especially a versatile one like Nasir Adderley. Hopefully, they don't take the Demarius Randall typical Green Bay Packers approach and they truly play a safety as a safety and they don't try to convert him as a cornerback. However, this is a player that can probably be more suited to play corner, either slot or boundary, more so than Demarius Randall was. But I like him as a single high, over-the-top safety, unless he gets taken by a team like the 49ers, where he still can do that, still has that ability. That's probably where he would be best. But with the 49ers zone-heavy scheme, this is a guy that can play nickel cornerback and do so at a really, really high level, given the amount of zone that they play. I also have the New York Giants on here, a team that's picking at the top of the second round that is in need of a safety Definitely on that free side to potentially play next to Landon Collins if he gets extended. So those are my three good fits 
for Nasir Adderley's safety out of Delaware. Let's go ahead and get into a more extended breakdown. Let's talk about someone we're a little bit higher on, and that oh. is a safety. Well, we'll call him a defensive back. Nasir Adderley out of Delaware. It's an FCS school. What is this guy doing near the top of the draft, maybe? Yeah. Ooh. So, Nasir Adderley, uh, did not know much about him, but wow, his his tape is it's almost unbelievable what he does. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty it's, impressive. It's really good. Uh, if you guys are listening to this and like have some time, look up some Nasir Adderley tape because it's mm -hmm. crazy what he does. So he's six foot two hundred. Um, yeah, could somewhere be around five there. eleven. Kind could of could be five eleven. He, he, he looks, like, he he's like he's like a small on... six foot. He, he doesn't play <laughs> like tape, a no. small six foot though. Uh, mm -hmm. I think he's very fast, very rangy. Um, mm -hmm. Great closing speed. He's got pretty good hands for a DB. Uh, look up the one-handed pick against like This is a Towson. player that it actually – you can look up highlights to get a you know a more of a perspective on how good his ball skills are because you're not going to see that flash on tape because mm -hmm. you're going to see like you know maybe a few opportunities per game for him to really come up and make a play over the top. But if you look up highlights – Oh, and I, I know I don't advocate looking up highlights to determine how good a player is because it doesn't show anything about consistency, but mm -hmm. it does show some of the ball skills. And that's, yeah. I think it's all right his, for a DB because you're trying to see if you can make some picks or whatever. His yeah. ball skills are the best in the draft for me. <laughs> uh, I don't. I haven't seen anything. He plays like like a, a stud wide receiver Yo, when the ball is in the air. Like I said, look up the pick against Towson from 2017. Was that Literally, the one-hander? Odell Beckham yeah. catch. For a pick, insane, incredible, Un uh, unbelievable. He's a big hitter, and you'll see that in a lot of the tape. He hits hard. Mm -hmm. He hits hard. Blows up blocks pretty well. Decent run stopper. Uh, good tackler. Think he's very agile. With safeties, you want uh, like a good hip turn, so like a change of direction to see the field, especially if you're going to be a single high safety. Yeah, and you want and, especially uh, lateral movement. Yeah, we, we want to be quick and a and quick back pedal to yep. get into their break is also fantastic. Yeah. Um, so like the hip turn good. is big. The hip turn is big. Mm. He's got great hip turn. I think he's got a good play rec. I th and that sometimes goes against him, hurts him a little bit because he does bite on the play fakes and bite on some uh, routes sometimes. But overall, I think he's a very, very great player. And then the other negative for him is that he played in the FCS. So like, yeah, he, he gotta, played he amazing in the it. FCS, yeah. but it's, he, it's the FCS. He's not playing against d1 athletes or i guess they are technically d1 athletes but not the top tier d1 athletes mm -hmm. however i think he's it's so amazing the tape and he's also playing in the senior bowl i think this is a player i really want to look at in the senior bowl to see how he does against these top guys i think he's gonna be very good very good here's why here's why i don't really care that he played in the fcs it's not like he's a defensive end or a quarterback or a wide receiver He's a safety, so mm -hmm. really what you're going to see on a down-to-down -down basis is zone coverage, and you're going to see that speed. And that speed is going to stay the same speed. That range is going to stay the same range against any competition that he's playing. So I don't really care about that too much. I have best ball skills in the draft here. We talked about that a little bit earlier. And his range is fantastick. Oh, yeah. it is, uh, it's right there in that elite level. Uh, I think his speed is pretty good for a safety. I expect him to run somewhere from... 4.45 to low 4.5, 4.52, 4.53 maybe, which is definitely serviceable for a safety. And he isn't afraid to come up and make a hit. He does have that good hit power. My only problem with him from a run defense standpoint is oftentimes he's looking to lay that big hit instead of wrapping yeah. up, which can be a problem. You see some safeties do that. And they're just not good tackle. I remember, like, not a safety per se, but DRC, Dominique Rogers cromarty This is a guy that was always looking to hit instead of just wrapping up so he'd miss a ton of tackles and he'd injure himself all the time yep so maybe that's concern with nasir adderley it's a little bit different as as a safety um especially when he has the range that he does but i think he's a versatile player he was recruited as a cornerback i was looking into it really? so he does have experience playing um playing in the slot as a cornerback and on the boundary and he does have traits that would make me say oh this could be a cornerback so could play CB, slot CB in a heavy zone scheme like the, what, what the 49ers do. But I think really where he's going to make his money is as a free safety over the top. That single high look, that's what they did a lot at Delaware. Yep. And it's because they had a player like him that you're not going to find. No FCS school 
for the most part, is going to have a player with that elite range and that ability to go sideline to sideline with excellent zone coverage over the top. That's his best trait. It's range and coverage. Speed's good, but I don't think it's exceptional. I don't think he's going to run 4-3 or anything like that. Uh, I don't think it's like otherworldly, but the range is fantastic. Excellent closing speed. He really does get to the football really, really quick when it's in the air. Um, and I have more of a hard hitter than a strong tackler. We addressed that a little bit already. Yep. Um, but most of his experience has been at Delaware, single high safety, sideline to sideline range. He's an interesting player, and I think he's going to be what we'd call a rare talent that's going to rise up draft boards. Um, it's a shame that more people aren't hearing about him, but he will go like way higher than you might think. I think, I think this is a guy that could sneak into the first round. I, he, he I when it's all said and done, because I'm going to make a big board, and I think we'll do that in the podcast one day maybe. Yeah. This is a guy that's probably a top 20 player for me. He's he's really, really good. But I think the FCS school is going to hurt his draft stock. So my projection from him is uh, late first to early third. I think he could go anywhere in that range. Second round might be where he finds his home. And uh, did you do a comparison for him? Uh, I didn't. I didn't do any comparison for him. Okay. I have I have Malik Hooker, and I, I don't love it, mm. but I think it's as close as you're going to get. Malik Hooker has more comparison. ideal size. Yeah. I think he's like... And this is this is going to be really high praise, and maybe you guys can really see how I view him as a player. But it's like a Malik Hooker, uh, Earl Thomas hybrid, and I think maybe he isn't as good as any of those players were coming out coming into the draft. But he is really really solid. I think he has the traits of both of those guys with elite range and ball skills. Ha- can really be that center fielder, as I like to say, with that single high over the top. Yeah. Three good fits. I have Green Bay Packers, San Francisco 49ers, and the New York Football Giants, my favorite team. Uh, and I'm not, I don't just have the Giants on there because I'd love for that to happen, which I would. But uh, I, I really think a good fit here. I like the top two a lot. Green Bay, obviously looking for, for safeties. They really need those. I think this guy's going to be everything that Demarius Randall could have been, but the Packers decided to play him at cornerback. <laughs> so if the Packers take him, don't play him at cornerback. I know he could fit. He's versatile. He could do that. Play him at safety, man. And the 49ers, I mean, you have their defensive coordinator that I'm kind of shocked didn't get fired, but Robert Sala plays almost exclusively zone coverage, and that's where Nasir Adderley is best in. So he could be a really good zone safety over the top, and the Giants just need a free safety as well. This is a player that anybody would need. Think about all the teams that would have liked a prime Earl Thomas. I mean, it's like everyone. It's, you know. I really want the Ravens to draft range. this guy. <laughs> I he's, really want I, the Ravens good, to draft He's good, man. He's good. Like, and, I'm telling you guys, like, anyone watching the podcast or listening to the podcast, like, watch this tape. Go watch this guy's tape. I think he the is. The tape's tough. The all 22 is hard to find. And uh, the FCS camera angles are terrible. Yeah, it's not that but great. you really just got to. Just look out. You gotta just look keep at the an ball eye at in the air, and mm-hmm. then you just see him kind of come out of nowhere with with certain games. And people always ask where you find tape nowadays. You just search on YouTube, go Nasir Adderley versus, and then look at a game on the schedule. Nasir Adderley versus Elon, yeah, or versus North Dakota State. Uh, you'll you'll find the, something. Any yeah, player. The North Dakota State tape is uh, I actually really like. Even though they got blown out in that game, I think he made. And that's a another guy that he played against. In the draft, mm-hmm. Easton Stick. Easton Stick. Yeah. So, and that's the one where I was like, okay, like he's playing against a guy, a quarterback, probably going to be in the draft. Like, some people are going to view him pretty high. So, I like that. Um, but yeah, this guy, I think he's going to be a, I think he's going to be the uh, the riser of the draft where no one's going to really hear about him. Senior Bowl, if he plays, once again, another guy that could play very well in the Senior Bowl, and he's just going to go up from there. I think Senior Bowl is going to be big, Combine is going to be big, and uh, possibly Pro Day is going to be big for him. Really, what it comes down to for a player like this is you can't, you can't coach traits, and he has ideal traits. Yes, with you know speed, range. His height is is serviceable. It's not like he has you know like, um, he's not six three. He's like five eleven, six foot. But we've seen safeties with with worse height dominate the league. Like Earl Thomas is a, a fine example. So that doesn't really bother bother me at all. I, I mean, I think this guy has everything you're looking for from. From a free safety standpoint, yeah, he, uh, he's really impressive. just the complete package. Super impressive player. Like, I, 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 I watching the tape, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, how? Yeah, I was like, how is this guy in the FCS? This. How is this he guy? He was like a two-star FCS? recruit as yeah. well. I think just insane. Like, super impressive tape. So, really like Nasir yeah. Adderley. I think he's gonna be a riser. Wouldn't shock me if he gets in the first round. 
I kind of want the Ravens to draft him because he'd be pretty good there. <laughs> All right.